Hey! Our boy Gus Johnson's got it figured out. Hey guys, I had to make this PSA here for all the stupid idiots that I see sawing their paper towel rolls in half to try to get double toilet paper. Why are you sawing it in half? You're getting crumbs shit everywhere, you're making a huge mess, and you're getting uneven things. You don't need to do this. Here's how you get the little squares to wipe your little butt shits, alright? You take off your paper towels. Look, you got that. You go rip, 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 rip. You put them all lined up like this, rip. Rip, now you got a stack of them, okay? Nice, stack like that. One quick rip, don't go slow, go quick. Shuck! Now look at that, boom, perfect little ass wipe. She go, wipe out, wipe out, wipe out. Don't be fucking stupid. Yeah, come on people, it's Corona. God, God damn it everyone, God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, shit, I just ripped it. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 148. Oh, no. Turn it down, Janice. Oh, my. She's not even here anymore. Janice is gone. She's. Janice is quarantined. I just ripped my fucking mask. It's broken now. It's not even a real mask. It's. A coffee filter, because there's no masks left. Oh, jeez. We are so fucked, everyone. Let me just tell you, we... This is it. This is the end of the world. It's all ogre now, ladies and gentlemen. It's all ogre now. Luckily, I got toilet paper and Coronas, you know. I still got that in supply. I went to the store today to get some face masks because turns out everything's fucking closed. Except for stores. You know, everyone's quarantined. So I'm like, okay, let me just go grab. Nope, you're not going to get a face mask because they're all sold out. So I, I custom designed one out of this coffee filter, just tried to tighten it right as this podcast was starting and it ripped. Man, fucking plastic. Oh, this is great. Nothing like like wearing What do you call these? Silicone gloves? I don't even know what the fuck to do, people, okay? We there's more news, obviously. I've got a shit ton of shit to show. And again, it's we're just centering so this this whole episode is still going to be centered around corona. We can't move on from coronavirus. It's corona or nothing. Okay? Until this shit goes by, everyone's going to be sitting in their homes playing Animal Crossing and uh watching the 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 news whether it's on twitter or reddit or facebook because you know no one fucking uh has cable anymore except for the old folks oh jesus let me tell you something coffee filters if you can figure out how to get these to work a bit better (laughs) They might actually do a good job. They fit nice. They they kind of they kind of you know they look just like a regular cup cup filter. They fit over the the mouth and nose pretty good. And I mean it is a filter, so it's got fine holes. Ah <sighs> yeah 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 yeah. Oh, why is quarantine cats? Why is that trending? What is this? I'm a special needs bus driver in Oregon. School's closed next two weeks. I'm spending more time with Junior. Going for a ride to pass away some time today. Before anyone suggests we're not getting out of the truck for anything, just driving around. What is this? Why 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 are the cats being quarantined? What now? What the fuck now? All the schools in Canada are shut down. Let me see. Canada schools. Let's see here. 
Alberta cancels K-12 classes, closes child care centers due to coronavirus. I'm pretty sure they're going to be closed for the remainder of the year. I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. I should have, uh, br I was supposed to bring this up, but I didn't. I got everything else up, but I didn't bring. So our, our schools are closed. Live now. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau dresses, dresses the nation. Let's see. Where's the video? I thought it was live. Oh, it's right here. What does he have to say? Still waiting for the stream to become available? Oh, he was live three hours ago? Son of a gun. Okay. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card. But it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out anyway. Uh, because we'll talk about it. But uh, listen, listen, To folks. ban non-essential incoming foreign travel for a period of 30 days. That affects some 30 countries. Um, the United Kingdom's Boris Johnson, who's been under a lot of scrutiny for uh, the way he's handling things in his country, which is slightly differently than we are doing here. He has said stop all unnecessary contact and stop travel. And the U.S., of course, moved last week to uh, ban European travel for 30 days, excluding the U.K. They have now added the United Kingdom to that list. Of course, if you're a citizen of those countries, you can get back in, uh, but will need to self-isolate. But if you are not a citizen, uh, you will not be allowed into those countries Look for at, at least a month. Fashi Capellas is uh, joining us now again. Um, so he's a little late, um, the prime yeah. minister. Yeah. He's uh, a little late. This is a this is a very Three hours. fast moving, uh, fast changing story. I would imagine. Certainly, the Whoops. government was working through the weekend uh, to come up with the measures that we will hear today. Die went backwards. Damn it! I didn't want to hear it anyway. I got my own shit to talk about. Allah, Allah, <laughs> Allah. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the here's the, here's the here's the scoop, people. So here's the we're gonna scoop. I'm gonna scoop your nipples. Um, we're all gonna it's a die. Bit different. Normally, okay. we're so tuned in, and people who are politically. I'm gonna stop this. Or no, 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 no. Put it on mute. Don't stop it. Come on, brother. If they're what if what's this? gonna be closed, that kind mute of mute it. Oh wait a minute. Has to say today, and I think. You're absolutely right, Rosie, in that. And that question that you asked the doctor was of particular schools, interest to me. Schools because now closed I think the reason I'm getting so many questions, and this is also on, on social media, people were a asking me literally at, you know, on the street today as I was walking to work, can you just find out what the one answer is on question A, B, or C? And it right. could be taking your kid on a play date. It could be, um, you know, what are they doing at the border? I think. Okay. Um, so, so far, I'm still working. Uh, my parents aren't, uh, my family isn't, my friends aren't, um, but I'm still working. Luckily, I live in a small town where shit's not too crazy, you know? Uh, and the place I work at doesn't get a lot of traffic, but it might now that, um, now that sh Shit, look at this. Nova Scotia PI closing schools and daycares. Newfoundland's closing schools in the province. <sighs> Indefinitely, they're closing schools all over the place. Um, yeah, so the place I work at. I could, can I just say where I work? I don't know. I can't. I don't want to say the place of business, but I work at a place that sells uh, legalized what some people will consider medicine. Okay. The smoking of medicine, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's a place that I work at. So people are going to want that while they're quarantined. And so I'm fine working there while this is going on. You know, I need money just as much as anyone else needs money. So soon, Trudeau to address country. Uh, it's been three hours. Where is he? Is he dead? Because he's his fucking wife's got corona, and she's quarantined, and he's quarantined. The whole family's quarantined. 
let me tell you something with the closing of the schools obviously like we you know it was going to come to that but if i was still and i think i said this last episode but if i was still in school this would be absolutely so thrilling to me it would be incredible because there's nothing i hate more than going to school it doesn't matter we're not talking about that okay um if you really want there's been this viral little clip going around that really shows a good example of Come. of um Come. no of uh Come. of what it means to <laughs> Come. uh social distancing okay jesus people get get with it just take a look at these matches here if you don't think Corona can spread faster than your butthole can can put, make shit because you're at a toilet paper, then look at this little clip of these matches and and you know, as long as they're all together, that flame's gonna continue. But as soon as this guy steps out of the way, it stops there. And so that is a a good example of what we're doing today as a human race. Literally, the entire world is in shambles over over Corona. So, why don't we be like the matches? I mean, we are. We are a little bit, you know. Um, but not everyone is cooperating. You see, because Nashville, I don't know what's going on in Nashville. I understand they're a little conservative cowboy people. <laughs> I live I live in Alberta, okay? I'm surrounded by conservative cowboys. But we're still we still understand that we need to stop the spread of this thing. But for some reason, Nashville decided that they're going to brag about the fact that they don't give a shit about Corona. And they're still getting in large groups and going to their own little fucking country-ass, cowboy-ass, country music playing concert. This is Nashville right now! I probably shouldn't play the music because it's uh, copywritten, but this is going on, and they're they're like they're <laughs> they're like bragging about it. They're like Nashville's undefeated. Corona ain't gonna get me. I ain't gonna fucking take no shit for no virus. Um, it's been <laughs> so. I mean, what do you do? But also, I mean, he, uh, apparently Oliver Tree, now I don't know if this is true, but Oliver Tree is still planning on, unless he's joking, which the guy does nothing but sarcastically joke about everything. But he put this tweet out that says, not, not only am I... <laughs> Not only am I the one artist brave enough to continue touring with the coronavirus, I'm proud to say I have no plans to cancel any of my future meet and greets. You would know I would do anything for my fans. No touching, no eye contact. He's been through a hell of a week with the doctor. He's uh, been quarantined for a few weeks. We want to make sure you're safe just as much as he is. You kind of want to make a little hand contact it's, it's okay wait don't uh -huh. touch the bubble no touching so you know i have 16 international shows left and i'm not canceling anything uh he's got to be joking like there's no way because even i think even if he wanted to do this they wouldn't let him. The people who own the venues are not going to let him do this. I just touched my face. God damn it. And I don't even have any hand sanitizer because there is none. It's all gone. 
There was this dude who bought them all, and he was going to sell them all for a higher price because he's an asshole. And uh, that didn't end up happening. And people actually came to his place and took took it all and gave it away for free. Oh, there he is. First of all, we will be closing our borders to people who are not uh, citizens or permanent residents of Canada. Borders this are closed. provides for certain exceptions, particularly for crew members, diplomats, and people whose immediate uh, and, and members of their immediate family. We will be, be first. We will be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens or Deny permanent entry. residents. This measure will carve out some designated exceptions, including for air crews, diplomats, immediate family members of Canadian citizens, and at this time, U.S. citizens. Deuxièmement. Second, airlines will receive the formal order to ban uh, all travelers presenting symptoms from getting on an airplane. Airlines will do a basic assessment of each passenger's health based on the recommendations. Of Am I going to get fucking claimed for playing this? I might. I didn't get claimed last time. I really, my nose is itchy, man, and I gotta scratch it. I know I shared that fucking. Where is it? Uh, let me just. I'll just so, who are asymptomatic to return to Canada? We will introduce an assistance program for Canadians abroad. Canadian travelers will be able to re receive funding to help them return to Canada or cover essential costs uh, while waiting to return to the country. Air operators will be formally mandated to prevent all travelers who prevent symptom, present symptoms of COVID 19 to board a plane. Air operators will be required to complete a basic health assessment of every air traveler based on guidance from the public health. Wait a minute. I thought he was quarantined. What's he doing outside? Is this his house, maybe? How many people are watching him? Oh, my. Uh, no, man. We're all gonna die. Wait, where's the other video? No, 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 no. No, no, there's one other fucking video. Let me let this play while I find it. Troisièmement. Third, starting on Wednesday, March 18th, only four Canadian airports will receive international flights. Pearson in Toronto, Tr Montreal Trudeau, the International Vancouver Airport, and the Calgary International Airport. For the time being, domestic flights, as well as uh, flights from the United States, uh, Mexico, uh, saint pierre Miquelon, and the Caribbean will not be affected by this measure. Travel restrictions announced today will not apply to trade or businesses. We will continue to ensure that Canada can continue to receive important goods. Starting Wednesday, March 18th, only four Canadian airports will be accepting international flights. Toronto Pearson, Montreal Trudeau, Vancouver International Airport, and Calgary International Airport. At this time, domestic flights, as well as flights coming from the U.S., Mexico, the Caribbean, and saint pierre et miquelon will not be affected. The travel restrictions announced today will not apply to commerce or trade. We will Gosh. continue to ensure the supply of I'm important goods to Canada. I'm missing the video that I wanted Canada. to talk about. I know that these measures Damn are far-reaching. They are exceptional circumstances calling for exceptional measures. Earlier today, I had a call with our G7 partners to inform them uh -oh. of these important G7. changes. From the very beginning, Canada's response has been based on the latest available science and advice from our world-class health professionals. Today, to, today's announcement is no different. These measures will help save lives. Depuis le début, from the outset, it has been important for me that Canadians have access to the recommendations of uh, 
healthcare professionals and experts. It is their knowledge and their expertise that has been guiding uh, the measures taken by the pr by the government, but also by individuals. Dr. Tam and uh, public health professionals and the minister are doing extraordinary work to protect the safety of Canadians and keep them aware of the latest developments on a regular basis. As uh, Dr. Tam said yesterday, public health authorities have administered 25,000 tests to date, and their work oh, continues on, to ensure it? that the largest number of Canadians possible can have access to the latest information. Health Canada will be providing a daily update at the same place at noon starting tomorrow. Wow, sucks, Today, dude. their press conference will immediately follow mine. Public health officials and our ministers have been doing a tremendous job of keeping people safe and providing regular updates. As Dr. Tam said yesterday, public health authorities have conducted 25,000 tests to date, and this work continues. Uh, to ensure that more good. Canadians can have access to the latest information on COVID-19, Health Canada will be holding its daily update at the same place at noon, starting tomorrow. Today, their press conference will take place after my remarks. The measures announced today can be added to all that our government has been doing up until now. Last Friday, Minister Morneau well, announced gone. new measures to finance. Whatever. Me. I might have to cut that whole segment out because it was just me scrolling around looking for nothing. Oh, <sighs> shit. Shit. Monica! No! Monica! Well, Italy's still fucking uh, being Italy. Playing John Lennon's Whatever the fuck this song's called. All the lonely people. I don't know if I can even play the rest of that. Because it's uh, uh, copyright claimed. Now there's also videos. People people love this trend. Okay, they're like, "Oh, Italy's playing music on their balcony. Let's let's pretend they're playing. Let's pretend they're playing Rihanna songs and KSI songs. It's all fake, dude. Like, look." <laughs> Now that looks convincing, right? I guess I don't have anything to 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 show that that's not real. But this, okay. So there's another one. Someone's like the whole neighborhood in Italy is singing "Roar" by Katy Perry. <laughs> See? Convincing, right? Well, here's another one. The exact same video clip, but this time, apparently, they're singing fucking KSI's song. None of it's real. Except for the trumpets. None of it's real, dude. It's easy to find the fake shit, and there's all kinds of fake shit out there. There's always fake shit. Don't ever believe what you hear on the internet unless it's corona. Ooh. I think I'm getting a sore throat. Vaya, yo lo que no no entiendo, no entiendo que there hasn't been toilet paper to clean your ass there's nothing let's go on to another question for the audio listeners this was an interview on the street this guy asked this this Mexican fellow 
uh, if he has any questions for the experts. And he says, well, there's no goddamn toilet paper to wipe your ass. Where's all the toilet paper? And you know what? I agree. I actually went to our small town little store the other day. Not a damn roll on the shelf. Check check this out. Starbucks. They removed all their chairs. So they're going to stay open. But they're removing the chairs. Get your shit and get out. See that? It's crazy. It's crazy. This is crazy, dude. No, stop it. Um, my hands are starting to sweat. <sighs> like I don't even know, dude. What do you want to do? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to? What do you want to talk about? Fuck it. Ow. I don't want to be quarantined. My hands are sweaty. Oh, they're like, ew. Feels like I just rubbed my hands in a bunch of chalk. Help, help me. Yeah, Janice isn't here. I feel bad for Janice. She's gonna, she might die. Janice is probably gonna die. I gotta, oh, this feels disgusting, dude. Um, New Orleans. Yeah, cops are driving on the streets and they got their sirens and their lights going and they got the loudspeaker and they're like, hey, everyone, get off the street. Nobody's listening. Thank you for your cooperation, everyone. Thanks. Yeah, they're cooperating. Literally not even moving. Like, they're not even moving. I touched my face! You know, like, what are the cops going to do? They show up. They're like, hey, you're jeopardizing everyone's safety. Go home or go to your hotel or whatever. And they didn't even move. So they just, the cops just drove right along. Um, so uh, does anybody have a fear that uh, staying inside for this length of time is going to cause... Uh, mental insanity type stuff, you know, cabin fever, Bieber fever. Is that going to happen? I mean, I, I might, right? Vsauce uh, demonstrated that on his show, Mind Field, the first episode. He put himself in quarantine for three, only three days, and he was absolutely insane. <laughs> that's all it takes and so I, I my fucking nose is itchy dude um anyway I just worry about people you know you never know when people are stuck inside for a long time shit happens to them come on See, the important thing is that you stay at home because there's a curfew now. Okay, no one is allowed out, especially someone that is like 72 years old. Okay, it's not like, Ar look, at, look at what we got here. We got Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's got a fucking donkey and a pony in his house and he's feeding it carrots. <laughs> All right, Arnold, look, you're quarantined. First off, there's no, there's no curfew, okay? Curfew means you got to be home by a certain time, but you're allowed outside. 
it's a di that's different than being quarantined. All right, we're quarantined, my guy. And second, why you got why you got a fucking donkey and a and a, and a and a pony in your house? And he's got a pig on his wall. You don't need that. They can stay outside. They're not gonna get it. They can't get corona. And even if they could, why are you bring them in your house? After you're 65, you're not allowed at the house anymore in California. Uh, what? After you're 65, you're not allowed at your house in California? I don't know if that's true. So we stay home and we eat here, right? Oh, yeah, that's yummy. I eat with the whiskey and there's Lulu. Lulu loves carrots. Whiskey loves carrots. I just had my little bit of vegan food. Oh, that was yummy, huh? Oh, see, that's what we do. We don't go out, we don't go to restaurants, we don't do anything like that anymore here. We just eat with whiskey and with Lulu. We have a good time. We get entertained. Look at that beautiful smile she has, huh? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the yummies, huh? And we have a good time. Eating here together, so much more fun than going outside. No more restaurants, okay? No more restaurants, forget all that. Public gatherings, restaurants, and all this gymnasiums out the window. We stay home. How many times is he gonna say huh? restaurants? <laughs> you, and I have you in my neck. Yeah, Miski. And you, I have you too. Now I have both of you. <laughs> Look at this picture here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No biting. Tell me he's not fucking going insane. Okay, What's going on? Because we're in this very he's small got corona. We have a very small house here. Yeah. Good girls. I love it. Good girls. How much shit is going to end up on his floor? I would never. Bring a donkey into my home like that. Unless I needed to. Why are Texans trending? Oh. Is it because they're doing the whole fucking. Is it because of what I just showed? Is that why? Texans is but it's NFL. I just touched my face again. Great. I guess the last thing I have here um I you know in the in the title it says this is like a coronavirus sort of uh speech or whatever but I don't think it is. I think this is an old video. I just thought it was a uh, little entertaining. Why don't we check this out? Thank you, Mayor. I'll try and keep this brief. Um, I won't. I should explain a little bit before we get into it. Uh, this guy left his microphone on when he went to the bathroom. Belabor all the details. I'm sure most of you remember Mr. Guest's presentation from last time, and I imagine he's going to hit some of the highlights here in a minute. But the thing is that these deadly infections, there's something we can do about it. Ah. And what we can do is call on represent, uh, governmental representatives <laughs> that are higher is that funny, Rachel? up the chain of... <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, is that funny, Rachel? Rachel, stop laughing. This is serious. <laughs> it's corona rachel and ask for action at the federal level um i am rachel um get it together. aware of mr brainerd's concerns that he raised last time and there get were together, there would be instances rachel. where i actually agree that okay. we should take action locally first yeah, we but there That's are so not funny. any um kfo operations in georgetown so for us to just say it within the city limits <laughs> uh, what rachel <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, come on, Rachel. Would be an empty gesture. Um, so this is serious. He's back. Everyone, shut up. He's back. And also, these diseases. He's back. <laughs> Don't know any boundaries. Well, so a state by did. state approach would just mean that so. the. <laughs> yeah. You, you <laughs> A little Thank mumble underneath his breath there. He's like, I never even thought about that. 
Oh my god, you guys heard me take a poop. <laughs> Gross, dude. You need toilet paper? Good luck. Because you ain't going to get any. Naked Gun did it first. That's right. They did do that first. Let's give you a like. Why don't we go back to J. J. Trudy? And by a public safety. Uh, we know that at this point, uh, the expectation uh, that people self isolate is something that we've asked of uh, Canadians uh, around the country that we uh, are expecting people to do. We know that Canadians uh, want to keep themselves and their families safe, and we are confident that people will uh, do what is necessary to keep themselves, their loved ones, and their neighborhoods safe. Christopher Nardi, National Post. Um, on Friday, Health Minister Patty Haida do said, and I quote, Canadians think we can stop this at the border, but what we see is a global pandemic, which means that border measures are highly ineffective and, in some cases, can create harm. We see that in countries that had the worst expressions, had the tightest borders. What changed? Uh, we have seen uh, over time various countries take very... Gah! What am I going to do, sit here and listen to him forever? Can't do that. There was this one f***ing video I wanted to show, and it got deleted, and now I can't find it, but it was getting posted all over the goddamn web, and now I can't friggin' find it. If I could just, I just want to show it. I, that's all I want is that one clip. It was so good. It was so fucking good. It was good. It was so good, and now it's gone. Doctors say that riding my bike outside is okay, so it's the only way I'm leaving the house. It's more Arnold. In my home gym. I just had a fantastic workout at the house. In my home gym. Now I'm out on a bike ride because it's the only thing you still can do outside the house with no social contact. Doctors recommend this is the only thing you should do. Don't get out of the house if you're past 65. Um, rather than just maybe going on a walk on a bike ride or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to send you regularly now exercises that you can do at home so you stay fit. So keep it up, okay? Be positive. Keep it up, okay? Be positive. That's my Arnold impersonation. Okay, my hands are, like, dry. It feels like someone dried my hands out and then rubbed them in flour. And then put like a layer of grease. It feels weird, dude. I gotta wash them. Those gloves are terrible. <sighs> How long was this episode? Not very long, was it? I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. There's literally nothing. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing else to say except update you on the fact that the entire world is shut down. Okay? Disneyland or Disney World in Florida is still open. Uh, people are pissed off about that. People are pissed off at Nashville. People are dying left, right, and center. Well, not really, but I gotta, I gotta wash my hands. I got nothing else to talk about. That's it for this episode of of the apocalypse. Um, we're all going to die. Hope to see you in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, you can hit the bell if you want, but we might not even make it past next week. So that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Have a corona on me. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>